Thanks so much, Rob. And uh, thank you, Izzy. What an important uh, message you're bringing. It's exciting. Thank you very much. Uh, I am so honored to be here today with Elizabeth May. Uh, Elizabeth, you are an inspiration to us. Uh, to read this woman's biography, to see the stance that she has taken for the environment, and how that's, those stance have moved her into a place where she knows that the political process has to change. And she steps up to become leader of the Green Party, to lead us to the best finish ever, and to lead us now to the absolute best finish where she's going to be in Parliament as, as uh, from the West, and I hope to be joining her as the candidate from Guelph. tell you a little bit about my story. Um, I guess I've done the, the, the thing, the green thing for a long time. I voted green for a long time. I've, uh, you know, done my bit of changing all the light bulbs in our house, trying to conserve, recycle, reuse. You know it. You're doing it. You also know that the environment the foundation of our life system on this planet is being more and more threatened. And we're moving in the wrong direction really, really fast. We know that. You know that. And I know that you want to do the right thing and you're doing the right thing in many, many ways. But it came to a point for me where I felt, and Elizabeth was there a long time before I was, to realize that we have a green movement, but it has to be changed into moved into a green political movement to change the direction politically of our society, to move us in a new direction, a sustainable direction that builds healthy communities, a smart economy, and true democracy. And I realized that it was time for me to step up. When I was asked, and I was honored, to accept the nomination for the Green Party of Guelph, uh, Green Party here in Guelph, I realized that it was time for me to step up and move out of my comfort zone, out into the public, to, some, to say something I truly believe. And now I'm going to challenge each one of you to move out of your comfort zone. Perhaps if you voted, or if you know people that have voted in the past, just for the same old, same old, to say that now is the time, now is the urgent time for us to turn this around, to move Canada in a new direction. And the exciting thing is, and Izzy spoke to that, if Guelph this weekend, this weekend and over the next three days was to, you get on your Twitter, you get on your Facebook, just the way they did in uh, first in uh, uh, Tunisia, and then in uh, in Egypt, that unbelievable change can come. And I can say this, as a person who grew up in the 60s, that I think our generation, and I can say, I know what Elizabeth's age, <laughs> we're close in age, that are, pardon, no, you're younger, <laughs> that, that, our generation in some sense has failed. And where the hope lies is in your generation to bring about real change. And I want it to happen here on this campus starting on Wednesday. Woo! Woo! I want you to imagine 5,000 of you coming and voting and overwhelming the, uh, the election people here and sending a green message that's going to be heard right across Canada, and it will be heard. All right. So I'm asking your, for your support. I'm asking for your work for the Green Party of Canada and our support for our leader, uh, who I'm so proud to be standing with today. Thank you.